But we don't understand that if we look at education levels, you know, like education of women in Iran right now far greatly exceeds what it was back during this time where women were wearing miniskirts. So if we want to talk about women's rights, let's talk about more like their social economic status rather than just what they're wearing. Let's talk about nuclear weapons. Okay. Our, our, our viewers, <laughs> some of our viewers may say, we cannot trust Iran. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? I mean, I don't think we can trust this country. I mean, what has this country done to the majority of the countries in the Middle East? You know, like, I, I don't think Iran's having nuclear weapons. I'm a pacifist. I don't, I don't believe in violence. Um, but also, when we look at the legacy of imperialism and um, colonization in the Middle East, and we see the legacy of this country and all of the violence that it has not only created, but also created the capacity for. Um, a lot of these weapons in the Middle East are completely brought in by the United States. A lot of Americans might take offense to that. You're an American. You I, don't yeah. sound like an American when you say that. You know what <laughs> That's I mean? That's because I've read, you know, yeah. and I think that it's really important that we look beyond sort of these these really simple narratives that we're told, whether it's about Muslim women, whether it's about the legacy of this country, and knowing that this country literally was built on the backs of black slaves and after um, the genocide of indigenous people. And I think there's a lot that we can be proud about, but I think that we shouldn't let that sort of blindsight us for the realities of the situation. Thank you.